What if you could have the practice of your dreams? What's holding you back? Imagine a life where you have everything you ever wanted. Welcome to Accelerate My Practice. So glad you could join us here today. We're glad to have you with us. It's been a, a fabulous and interesting uh, last few weeks, beginning of the year, as I'm sure everybody's experiencing themselves. And, and as such, we want to talk and give you some scripting, if you will, some role playing on how to handle some topics. And, and hence, by request from you guys, give you the ability to handle whatever challenges you might run into. So we're going to kind of break this down over the next few weeks on some various topics and, and role play them back and forth between Char and I because it's our favorite thing to do is role play on camera. How are you? I'm great. I'm ready to have some fun today. Absolutely. going to be good. Absolutely. So understanding our philosophy and how we work, we always prioritize everything we do around cash flow first, right? If you don't handle cash flow issues, nothing else seems to matter. Secondly, we tend to look at hygiene, subset of hygiene being perio. Thirdly, we look at case acceptance. Fourthly, we look at marketing. And HR could be anywhere in there. That's how we prioritize our business philosophy. Much like many of the most successful dentists I've ever met, they prioritize their philosophy around first treating periodontal disease because it does no good to, to treat and restore teeth that fall out of the head. Secondly, to stop decay. And then after that, to look at bite slash alignment issues, because those can oftentimes cause perio or decay issues. And then the, the last being, uh, or joint being next, and then lastly being uh, cosmetics. So we want to start with a very holistic kind of approach through the practice, and then we're going to walk through the entire practice with some of these topics, giving you some insight on how to handle them, how to role play them, what you can say, and, and what to do about it. It all comes through the delivery, right? And how, what fits with you, what fits with your personality, and how you deliver that message to the patients is what makes the impact. The other thing that makes the impact is knowing less is more. So whenever you take those, po those, those silence moments um, and not realizing that you have to fill that gap of space while the patient's probably thinking about things, don't feel like you have to bumble your way through it or make small talk as we're trying to think through things. Just keep silence there for a moment and then let them help make their decisions. Once they get back to you, then you know that you can continue the conversation moving forward. I think too many people try to fill in those quiet spaces when the patient's sitting there thinking for a moment, but just know that's a very powerful part within the presentation in your delivery. So let's start with the down payment one. And really, what I should have done is had that office call in because this office is amazing at it. But it'll be interesting to see if I can contribute anything that they call me back and go, hey, that was a really good addition. Or, Derek, you got this completely wrong. You should have done it our way. So we'll, we'll chat through that one. So imagine Char and I are sitting in the consult room. We just talked through a, a big procedure, let's say. And, and now, of course, it comes to this, hey, how am I going to get you to pay this bill? Is that a, a fair assumption? Yes. Fabulous. Yep, let's do so this. I'm, I'm really glad to hear, Char, that you're excited to do this treatment and that you want to move forward with this treatment. Do you have any other questions for me about, we've discussed what it's going to look like, how beautiful it's going to be, how it's going to last. What other questions might you have for me regarding this treatment? I think I'm set. I think I'm ready to go. So I'm ready to get scheduled. Fabulous. You know, one of the things that we do in our practice that you might find to be very, very different because of the quality of dentistry we do, because of the amount of work we put into it, the special materials we get for your procedure, we do require a down payment on your procedure. And, and so what we'll do is we'll take a payment onto your credit card or we can use a, a different payment source. But what we're going to do is we're going to reserve your appointment with that fee and that way we know that entire room, that entire, everything about that time and space is yours, not to be interrupted. It's very, very protected time. 
Have you ever been to another office where the, the doctor's kind of bouncing in and out all the time and you don't feel like you're real special? Yes, I have. Well, in our practice, our doctor gives you this undivided time. Again, as you discuss or we discuss, the, the procedure we're doing on you is a very, very extensive procedure, highly cosmetic. We don't want that time to be interrupted. And as such, when we reserve that entire appointment just for you, for your needs, this is how we handle this to make sure you are getting our undivided attention. What you can see is that you got to keep tapping into that emotional response. You can't allow it to become a distracted conversation and you've got to get them emotionally engaged, keep them emotionally engaged because they're going to come up with these objections. That's a reality of life and it's okay. Set that expectation that payment is due for services rendered today. In a very friendly way with a smile on your face, shaking your head yes. Because any of you have seen me do the live lecture, we all know what happens when we start shaking our head yes. She can't bite it. She's shaking her head yes. <laughs> so that being said, if you have questions, feel free to get in touch with your coach. If you would like to see different topics in the upcoming weeks other than what I've already outlined, please email them over to us so we can prep them and do them for you. This is your show. I appreciate you being on the show very much with us. We look forward to seeing you next week, 8 a.m. Mountain, 10 o'clock on the East Coast. Otherwise, bye-bye for now. Have an amazing week. What if you could have the practice of your dreams? What's holding you back? Imagine a life where you have everything you ever wanted.